Hello, today we're going to take a look at uh, creating some planes uh, specifically around a cylinder. Today we're going to be using a wheel well uh, and, or not a wheel well, an actual wheel. So, we've already started out with uh, just a basic plane and then a basic circle right here cutting straight through the middle of this particular object. So I've actually got an extra surface in here. We'll go ahead and delete. So um, from here, so we've got a circle and a plane. We could derive a uh, center plane coming through the middle of this uh, wheel in order to make a profile, but we have a couple different options we can do. So I'm going to go into a 2D sketch mode and select this plane. Then from here we'll actually take our uh, move grid button and move up through our object just a little ways in order to find a different position to go ahead and create a circle off of. So we're just going to create a basic three point circle. We go one, two, three points. All right, now from here, we'll go ahead and create a point in the center. And then we're also going to come back into our 3D sketch mode, hide off this mesh. And then we've also got a point down here in the bottom circle if you need to know how to do that. Basically, we can just come in to our 2D mode and select that surface. And then we can just simply place a point right there. Okay, so we have our two points. Now we're going to go into our 3D mode and we're going to grab one point, press control, and then grab the other point. And then now we're going to create an axis through the middle of those two. So grab those two points and then create an axis. So now we have an axis running through the center of our wheel well. And from here, that original construction plane that we used, uh, we can take and either use that basic plane or we can manipulate that uh, plane into creating a few more cross sections of the wheel well straight through the center. Uh, or the wheel, rather. I need to stop saying wheel well. <laughs> uh, so if we press control, and then begin to rotate our plane over. You can see it creates a new plane. So if we just put that at 90 degrees, now we have a 90 degree plane that we can move up to this axis. All right, when we move it up to that axis, now that plane is constrained upon that axis. So if we press control again and move our plane around, we can begin creating multiple planes all the way around the axis of this part in order to create as many cross sections as we want. Uh, so that's a simple way to easily constrain a series of planes in order to come in and create a 2D profile through our wheel well uh, for use in reverse engineering or measurements of this part. Thank you very much for taking a look at this video and if you have any further questions regarding space plane or our HDI scanners or any of the other products we sell, feel free to visit uh, support.gomeasure3d.com.